Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to the Fantasy Family. I do videos on makeup, fashion, hair, vlogs, everything, the whole nine yards. And I would really love if you continue on watching this video and decide if you will want to subscribe to me or not. And for all of my old subbies, thank you for coming back. Today we are doing a video on this look here that we have right <laughs> going on. It's a purple cut crease glitter rhinestone eye look. It is very festive. I'm like, we're indoors. Why not go all out? Eid is coming up. It's the ending of Ramadan. So let's really like beat our faces. Like at this point, our living room is going to be our red carpet on Eid. Okay. And even if it's not Eid, even if you're about to go on TikTok, you know, pop on this real quick. Real cute. <laughs> you know, be real cute for TikTok or whatever. But, um... Anyways, at the end of the day, this eye look, I mainly did it for Eid. Um, last year, I did a look similar to these, like, three, like, the way it transitions with the glitter in the middle. But I did a totally different look. If you guys have not seen that Eid tutorial, then I will leave the link down below. Um, yeah, don't mind my earrings. My earrings are huge as hell. I don't know where I got these from. I think I got them from, like, Forever 21 or something. But um, if you, anybody's wondering where I got them from, I'll try to find a link to these big old earrings somewhere and leave it down below. My turban, I got, not my turban, my hijab, I got it from culture hijab um my sweater i got this from where i got this from fashion nova i don't even know if they sell this anymore because you guys know that fashion Nova be selling out like crazy okay but yeah um i tried to use newer products in this tutorial um i didn't want to use the same things but you guys know like i have my staples and i really just go to it because it works for me but i have been trying to like branch out a little bit but the eyeshadow palette that I use is something that I used before in like a recent video. So if you guys watch that, then you'll know that that's the video. If you have similar colors, you can get away with using those similar colors. Um, I used about like four to five shadows for this look, but you can really get away with just using three shadows. Um, and you'll see what those three shadows are once you get into the video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm almost at 2K subscribers. I'm really, really happy about that. It has been a long road on YouTube, a long, inconsistent roller coaster <laughs> because I have been on YouTube, off YouTube, on YouTube, off YouTube, but I'm trying to be more consistent and I'm almost at 2K. So I would really, really appreciate you guys to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and turn on your post notifications so you are notified as soon as I upload a video. Um, yeah, so... With no further ado, let's get into the video. But before we get into the video, you know I gotta give you guys seconds to just subscribe. So just go ahead and do that for me, please. You did that? All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the P. Louise base. I'm just gonna place that on my lid. And I'm just gonna take my BH Cosmetic brush and I'm gonna go ahead and pat that out. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to take a dense brush. Brush. It is a BH Cosmetic number no. nine brush. This came as a set, but it's really dense. It's a little fluffy, but it has a very like. It's kind of dirty, so don't judge me. But a very dense like. I'm gonna say in like this. Okay. Get you something like this. Sis. Then. We're gonna go into our James Charles palette. I just love this palette. I don't know why I love this palette. But I love this palette. Like, it's just... Let me not say I don't know why. It just has every single color that I ever needed. It just has it in here. So I'm just like... I mean, like, why not? I'm going to insert an image of the palette. And then show you guys what colors I'm using as I go on. Because I think I'm going to make this a voiceover. I am. So... Okay, so I'm just taking that purple shadow out of, out of the James Charles palette. I will leave the names to the shadows down below in the description box. And I'm just taking that and putting that in my cut crease. And I'm going to do that on both eyes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but...
next I'm going to take that first like pinkish purple burgundy color and the hot pink in the James Charles palette and I'm going to take that to blend out the purple that we placed there and I'm just going to do that back and forth on both eyes. Next, I'm going to be taking the P. Louise base and I'm going to put that to cut my crease. Um, after that, I'm going to go in with the same two purple colors that we used in our crease on the outer edges of the cut crease. Um, you guys will see that later on, but I just felt like I might as well just say it now because I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory um, in the video. But, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and explain it to you guys just in case you know someone ain't really understanding what I'm doing. But, yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> Next, I'm taking the color ring light and I'm just going to place that all over the inner part of my lid. Um, I also went in with a little bit of the Armreezy Barb color, but honestly, it really didn't do that big of a difference. That's why I didn't even include it in here. Now, these glitters that I'm using, I got these off of Amazon. So it's really just like mixed glitters. Some are big, some are small. And I'm using the Smolter Cosmetics um, Dazzle Lock to lock that be in. And here, <laughs> I thought that I was recording. Like I put on my foundation, my primer, everything. And I thought that I was recording and I wasn't even recording. Like I was so mad. Like, oh, uh, like literally half of my whole entire look gone. Okay. But I went in with some liner. I popped on some lashes. These lashes, I have got it from my vendor. I'm contemplating if I want to sell lashes or not. I just feel like so much people sell lashes and I just don't want to kind of like quote unquote join the bandwagon, but we'll see. Anyways. Yeah. So for concealer, you guys saw that I used Becca and I used a little bit of the Juvia's Place concealer. Um, and for contour, I am using the Fenty Beauty Contour in Espresso. I actually really do want to try their new contours because this one is like a little bit more on the red side. So I want to get one that's a little bit more cool. And I'm also thinking of getting the cream bronzers, but it kind of seemed like a contour to me. So I feel like if I get the, the stick, then I won't need the bronzer because it really does look like a contour, but whatever. But yeah, we're just going to blend that out and set, bake, do the whole nine. And if I feel like I need to come back, I'll come back. But I'm gonna just let y'all watch this until the end.
Okay, so now I'm going in with my under eyes and using the first two purple colors that we used in our crease and I'm placing the lighter purple all across my waterline and the darker purple on the outer edges into like where my wing liner crease meets, like the crease color meets. And yeah, and then I'm going to put on some rhinestones that I got from Michaels, pop on some mascara, highlight, and then I'll be back for lips. I almost forgot I'm using wild orchard no I'm using smolder cosmetics wild orchard loose shimmer um, eyeshadow <laughs> and this is like a purple silver reflex it just compliments of the eye looks so good like I'm just so happy I popped that in there because baby it really took it to the next level now we're going in with the Huda Beauty highlighter I will leave the names of the highlighter down below because baby I don't remember okay um and then we are going to do some lips I am using the BFF4 from makeup no from ColourPop and makeup shayla collection and i'm mixing it with the nyx dark brown because the bff4 is too brown like too red and the nyx is a little bit too dark but it makes a perfect cool lip liner and then i'm gonna go in with the mentic cosmetics lipstick in pretty in pink and i'm gonna pop on some kylie cosmetics um like lip gloss and fancy beauty's fussy lip gloss set my face and that is the end of the look i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you guys like voiceovers then let me know down in the comment section below and i hope to see you guys in the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye <laughs>